Hey, fats. How's it hanging? Man, I'm slamming. I've been learning about figurative language. That's dope. What's figurative language? It's like language that uses words or expressions that are different from the literal meaning. Totally, I get it now. Yeah, it's tight. Did you dogs know there's a lot of figurative language in pop culture? No way! Yeah, it's all over the place. Oh yeah, like that line in Ice, Ice, Baby. I'm killing your brain like a poisonous mushroom. Deadly. That's whack. No, it's a simile because it compares two things using like a raz. Right. Sweet. What about life as a highway? That whole song is a metaphor. Tight. Now you got it. Figurative language isn't just in songs, it's in movies too. Like Austin Powers. It's a parody of James Bond. Some movies have cliches. What's, what's a, a, a cli, cli? A cliche is something that is overused and isn't an original thought. Oh, like some scenes where a girl who's like not that pretty suddenly gets a makeover and then all of a sudden she's popular and has a boyfriend. Pretty woman, stop the world. Don't forget personification. That happens a lot in commercials when an inanimate object is given human-like qualities. Right. Like the Kool-Aid man. Icing my grill. Step off. There's no real picture of Kool Aid that can walk and talk. Yeah, it's personification. I also learned about onomatopoeia. Whack. What's an autom. An onomatopoeia is a word that imitates its natural sound, like boom, bing, and grunt. Cockle doodle do! That happens in Batman all the time. Now, gentlemen, two against three. I'd say the odds are even. You're right! Bang on! Rad. Figurative language is everywhere in pop culture. Yeah, it really helps define language. Fat. Let's bounce. I'm out.